Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Ed Cardinal, and I hope you had a terrific day today. I wanted to uh, first give you a quick update, as you can probably see uh, I'm in a different location again. We drove up from Asheville, North Carolina yesterday, 11 hours, to uh, Jude's sisters in Old Bridge, New Jersey. But we made a decision uh, as far as where we're going to live, and that will be Asheville, North Carolina. We'll be up, up here and then eventually up in Rhode Island to sort of wrap things up, close, close that chapter up uh, for good. And then we have a move-in date in the Asheville area. Actually, it's a small town north of Asheville called Weaverville uh, for July 15th. So we're excited about that. Uh, looking forward to getting back down there and uh, getting settled in. It's been, been a while since we've, uh, we've been settled and uh, looking forward to starting our life down there and see, see how we like it. Give us a chance to explore and uh, kind of uh, find out if it uh, is a actual fit for us. Uh, I have a good feeling about it. my intuition tells me yes, um, but uh, we'll have to see how June likes it. One thing that's been coming up uh, for me, and that's the topic for tonight, and that's uh, resentment and my need to let go of resentment. And this is a great thing I just recently read about resentment. Resentment is like taking poison and expecting the other person to, to die. Resentment hold on to resentment and anger is not good for for me and it's interesting it came up uh, another lesson from the trailer it came up and it's come up a couple times but the last time it happened I it kind of a little bell went off in my head why is this happening when I'm thinking about this in particular and it was when I was thinking about there's a couple people in the last couple of years I've felt have uh, wronged me in some way and in it's a perceived thing in my own mind that they didn't act or do something uh, according to the way I thought they should do it. And these people don't know that I'm harboring this anger, this resentment towards them. It's only harming myself. Uh, recently, during one of my runs, I was thinking about one of these uh, people in particular, and I stumbled. And this has happened a couple times, and but the last time I thought to myself, why is it when I think about this anger and resentment, do I stumble? And what came to me was that I'm stumbling on these thoughts in my head that keep me away from feeling gratitude and happiness. And I'm only harming, my, I'm only harming myself with it. Uh, so it's important for me to let go of the, the resentment and the, the anger. And it goes back to a topic I talked about uh, a couple months ago in regarding Sanibel Island, regarding forgiveness, uh, and, and that topic uh, was about my father. Well, forgiveness can be towards uh, anyone you feel has wrong, wronged you or not acted according to the way you thought they should act. Um, so if I let go of that anger and resentment, it's, gonna, it's going to free up space within myself for, for better things. So what shouldn't we do? Uh, regarding anger and resentment. Well, we shouldn't avoid it. Uh, we should not pretend it doesn't exist. And we should not try to forget it. Because if we don't, if we bury it, it's going to come up in some way. What we should do is face the resentment, acknowledge it, uh, deal with it, and then find a way to, to let it go. And for me, the acknowledging it, it and taking a hundred percent responsibility for uh, that resentment and my response to what I perceive as someone doing me wrong and not doing what I feel was the was the right thing, um, which is only harming myself. So I, I need to, and and the more I look at it and acknowledge it, the more I see that I can learn great lessons from it about myself, and that's the most important thing that I can learn about myself how I can be a better person, and releasing and letting go of anger and resentment is, is one of them. So I can practice empathy. I can play what I've heard called the understanding game, put myself in that other person's shoes. 
they might not have done things to me on purpose. They don't see it the same way as I do. Um, so playing the understanding game will actually help for me release some of that anger and resentment. Um, also talk to someone about it uh, or journal. So uh, this is uh, a great, a great lesson for me. Um, it's come up in other times in my life, but uh, this time in particular, I, I feel like it's it's time for me to learn the lesson. So when it comes up in the future, I don't have to be hanging on to anger and resentment for for too too long because it's really not good for my health, physical health, mental health, uh, emotional health. So uh, I I don't want to have the anger and resentment rent space in my head anymore. And I want to free up that space for, for joy, for gratitude and appreciation. Um, it's a much better place to come from, much happier place to come from. So I hope this was helpful if it was, and if you can identify with some of the things I talked about, uh, please drop a comment or, or like below. And looking forward to seeing you next week, next Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my next Facebook Live. Have a great Rest of your week, weekend, and uh, take care. Have a good one. Bye.